Aaron here. Recent studies have now proven that the oceans covering nearly 71% of our Earth used to be a vibrant shade of blue, and much of the fresh water was clear enough to drink. Saltwater and freshwater wildlife flourish in the good quality of the oceans, ponds, and rivers. However, it's to my great sadness that I must report that in this year of 2081, the vast oceans that used to be so intensely blue are now filled with trash and blackened with oil. They are nearly unrecognizable. Rivers run many different colors and can even be lit on fire. The freshwater ecosystems that used to be the home of countless creatures are nearly deprived of all life, and microscopic organisms are the only survivors. It's shocking how much has changed. I can't even believe the stories I've heard about ocean animals. Why is our ocean like this? It's not because of one person, or even one country. It's because slowly, but surely, more and more people start littering, and more oil spills occur, and eventually it ends up like this. But for those of you listening in 2020, don't despair yet. There's still hope to rescue our planet's water before it becomes too late. So what can you do to help keep our oceans, lakes, and rivers beautiful? Maybe take a day at a local beach to clean up the trash on the sand or in the water. Check for waste collecting around your storm drain and clear it off. Conserve your water usage. Make sure you alert someone if you smell a gas leak. Don't pour chemicals or trash into any body of water. And remember, storm drains are not for trash or unwanted liquids. They most likely lead to a nearby body of water. Lastly, vote for government officials who will enforce strong environmental regulations. If you follow these tips, you will certainly increase the health of the Earth's water for future generations such as mine. Aaron out.